Good morning traders and this is your Forex Day Trade Setups for today. So yes, I'm back after a bit of a, a bit of a break and um, let's get cracking as normal with EURUSD. So we've had a pretty good breakout and to be honest I haven't looked at any of these charts uh, yet. So we're uh, looking at it the first time with you right now. And um, what we have had is a breakout of this channel head and shoulders structure and this is busy with a retest. So this is not pretty at the moment if you're looking for longs. Uh, let's just get this other level in. Right, so you can see here's the underside of that channel. Remember, sorry, not the channel, um, <coughs> range. So you can see here's the underside of the range and that's the second underside of the range. We broke through the first, we've tested the first one in the Asian session we are now coming back a bit. I'm in two minds at the moment looking at this whether this is a break of this range and a retest. This area here is critical. So come to the hour. So this area here, if this rejection holds of 117.513, then we're looking for shorts. Okay. But looking at the hour, we've had a downtrend and we've got a pretty solid uptrend at the moment where it's testing and moving average as well. So, a bit of both. Um, not sure what's going on in Asia at the moment, but they're kind of selling everything right now. Uh, I think for me, you've got the presidential debate tonight, so I think I would actually just wait. Uh, wait and not see what transpires, because I think the dollar's going to be pretty much all over the place uh, based on the debate. Remember, investors are all looking for some sort of catalyst to drive the market in the direction and they obviously are thinking about that. Um, trading the one hour trend is up. I'd be looking for longs. Just move this here. I'd be looking for longs down here. I'm going to retest at 116834. Okay, and the reason for that is really now, overall trend has still been up. This rejection here is going to have to be on a daily or probably even a weekly, to be honest, because um, look at the weekly, a complete confusion for so many weeks. Then this moves to the downside, and uh, any move down to this area is going to get me buying 114.874 or alternatively 114.022. Okay. So I kind of wait and see. I think this trend is pretty strong. This consolidation might be a bit of a squirt below the consolidation. Could also be a flag forming. So I uh, don't want to spend too much time on this. But there is your channel there. Okay. So ignore everything that's happened here. Ignore the break at the moment. Uh, treat this as a channel for now because that is the that's the current price action. So you'd either expect a move all the way down to the bottom of the channel or alternatively because we have made higher highs here on the 8th hour uh, a retest of a breakout level so that's the first one 117.218 you can probably find tune it a little bit down to there 117.131 and then alternatively down here at 116.834 okay so a little bit of um, indecision happening at the moment as far as I'm concerned. So for me, wait and see. Uh, US dollar, Japanese yen is probably going to be the same kind of picture. Um, pretty much we do have a, a rising wedge here on the 8th hour, which is there. Actually, no, it's not a wedge, it's a, it's a channel. No, it's a wedge. Okay, here we go. So just lining up with all the fractals that I can see. And you can see roughly we have a bit of a wedge here. So it could be a channel if you look at it that way. There. Um, in other words, what we'd expect is a pullback and then continue to rise. Thing with this is we have a trend change. So we are above the moving average, we are pointing to the upside. And if we come down to the one hour, you'll see what I'm referring to. So it's up and we're flirting with the moving average, but we are moving up. Okay, so I would be looking for longs, and, and this area right here is a pretty decent area to be long, which is 105.532. Uh, 
Okay. Uh, British pound USD. So we have pretty much had the move to the downside. And I think if I remember correctly last week, I was looking for this move to the downside. It has happened. Uh, we are now consolidating. So that's one move, one move up, one move down. So that's our ABC or, or three move correction. And what we do have at the moment is let's just leave that level in and bring in this area here. So what we're looking at the moment is we've had this breakout level. We're looking for some form of consolidation or retest, which may be happening now. Now, this big up, big down, big up, big down is big confusion. You can see we go up, we go down, we go up, we go down. So that is confusion. Looking at that, <laughs> there's your confusion. You can see pretty much in a range. There's your range there. I'll just bring that down a bit. There we go. So that's your range. Uh, while it's ranging, there is absolutely no trade on the offer for me. There is a gap to the downside I see, and there is also a little bit of support to the downside. So anything in this area would get me buying. And that just basically means that it, it's a half decent pullback. But expect this kind of volatility around the moving average. See what happened here? And then if you move the back, you'll see you have this kind of volatility and it stays for a while before it actually triggers into a trend. So expect the same to happen at the moment. So what you're expecting at the moment is a potential trend change and the trend was down so you're expecting a reversal back to the upside and this mess here needs to get, uh, well we need to break through it basically. Until that happens, uh, no real trade. So. I would expect support to be found down here at 128.042, alternatively 127.773. Um, the other alternative here is a break above 128.845, but then I'd want a retest of somewhere inside this range before we move the upside. So this one is wait and see. Okay, New Zealand dollar, Japanese yen. This could be a rejection of this level. Okay, so it has had one rejection. This could be a second rejection here. But also, if I remember correctly, we are in a pretty big weekly range and look how we are flirting with the weekly moving average at the moment. So this one is kind of, um, for me anyway, is gonna be a wait and see. So this level that we're off here, which is 68.879, you can see on the weekly fractal, weekly, weekly, come down to the hour and you'll see we are rejecting this level of the top here, moving to downside. So what you want to do is pretty much just look for the next level and as far as I'm concerned it's right over there. Uh, so this would give us 69.422 would give us an opportunity to buy. Obviously I'd want to see some price action there but um, I don't see us getting back below this weekly level at the moment. And uh, let's just come back to weekly so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, it is bottom of a weekly range. So there's our, our range there. And it has broken up above the moving average. So this is busy with a major trend change. So you can see this was a trend to the downside. So we are busy with it. But bear in mind that it has happened one, two, three times. Well, I'll count that one four times in the past three years and not happened. So it'd be interesting to see what happens. If this weekly closes with a green bar, then there's probably a fairly good opportunity to be looking for some long-term longs. But I think we'll have to wait and see what transpires here. This at the moment on the hour is a bit of a trend change to the upside, but you know, this sell-off that's going on in Asia at the moment, I'm not sure what's happening, but um, you know, just stay out of it until we get some structure when the, when the masses wake up, and that'll be Europe and USA. Okay, uh, lastly, on the last thing on this pair is have a look there. Look at that support structure there. So that would offer a great area to buy, which is 69.249. Okay, anyway, uh, pound, Japanese yen. So we have had a move to the downside, we've consolidated, we've broken by the moving average, and now we're back in this area of congestion. So this for me is pretty much 
sit on the sidelines and wait and see what transpires. You can see all this congestion to the left here, and we're busy with the same thing. Big up, big down, big up, big down, big up. Big confusion. If I come down to the hour, uh, you'll probably see a clearer picture of it. There it is. So that could be a double top, or triple top, or quadruple top, whatever you want to call it. Trend is up at the moment. Uh, we are above the moving average, so trend is up right now. But um, we are flirting around the bottom area of this consolidation pattern. So uh, for me, this is a wait and see. I would prefer to be buying down the bottom here. 134.652. But look how far that is from the moving average. So, um, yeah, I think uh, I just want to get to an 8-hour. And you can see the 8-hour consolidation above the moving average here. So it's very possible that we have a squirt to the downside, then another attempt up, and another squirt. And so it's going to be volatile around this area, which while it f tries to figure out whether it is a trend change or not. And I think that's pretty much what's transpiring at the moment. So that's another one to sit on the sidelines until that transpires. Um, Aussie dollar, US dollar. We had a pretty good move to the downside. Okay, we had this uh, flag break here. If you remember, we were looking at this last week boom never really got a retest but look at that beautiful short that was on offer here and uh, we came in just short of this support here but pretty much on a brooks gap right over there okay and uh, we bounced so at the moment we are rejecting a level and i think it's important that you understand which level it's rejecting I just use this one and just look to the left look at all this um all these tails here so basically a bit of consolidation here that was a fairly strong area of support it is now looking like it is resistance so at the moment this to me would be a continuation to the downside but uh i want to see what's going to transpire because if you look at the hour we do have a trend to the downside then we've got a trend reversal here okay this level is critical if we get back above this level 071464 then I'd expect this um, one hour trend to continue to the upside okay if we reject it again or during European open I think what you'd want to be doing is looking for a lower high somewhere around there so in other words let it fall let it come back reject this area 071244 that's going to give you another continuation of the downside, and I would expect at least 0.7135 to be tagged. Okay, uh, last pair, which is British Pound, Aussie Dollar. So we've had a strong move up. We've got a pretty strong trend. We've had a move to the downside, and you can see not it didn't really bounce off structure. It just basically took this area here. So I would prefer it if I was looking to short would be off the bottom here and that hasn't transpired so for me at the moment I'm looking for support okay this is the most logical area for support we haven't got there which is 179238 um, the area that we have bounced let's just see if we can pick it up uh, it doesn't really make sense it's in the middle of nowhere so let's just go down to the hour maybe there's something there that it's, everybody's found I suppose the structure over here is probably the area that they're looking at. Um, yeah, difficult one at the moment. I think this is another one to sit on hands and, and wait and see what transpires at the European Open. But if you look at the hour, we've come down, we've flirted with this moving average and we dropped below it, so now we're consolidating again. Uh, the one thing I do see... is we are flirting with a trend okay we haven't we haven't basically done anything yet we've still got a couple of minutes to go in this bar but uh, if it closes in this area it's not really a good signal I'll wait and see but um, I think what you're looking for is a break above this area here okay so I want to break and a hold above 185.93 that would conf give me confirmation to the upside um, to the downside I'm not really interested in that at the moment because of this trend line and you can see how strong that trend line is to the upside and we are it does look like we are pretty much trying to hold this moving average at the moment on the eight hour so I'd be looking to buy 
uh, and it's either a break above 185.93 or it's to come find support down here at 179.238. Okay, that's one worth watching, which is pound British, uh, sorry, British pound uh, Aussie dollar. Uh, see if we can get some structure here for a buying opportunity. Okay, anyway guys, that's it for me today. I hope it helps and uh, we'll catch up with you tomorrow. Cheers for now.